Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here at Empty Paradise. So today's video, I'm not gonna be doing anything on the Porsche. I just saw in the title above and in the thumbnail, I'm gonna be working on my Jetta. I'm going through this process of making the Jetta a little bit better in a bunch of different aspects. I'm trying to make it a crazy awesome build without going super expensive. So there is some pretty good budget stuff uh, going into this car, but also still a little pricey, but way better than paying full price or crazy stuff, but. So in this video, I'm going to be replacing the taillight housings, which in the past I have done replacing the taillight bulbs. So I will be kind of showing that process. So I will show you guys what it looks like after you replace the taillight bulbs, which makes it a lot brighter. I do have another video on that. There's going to be a link in the description down below. Also, there's links to all the products I'm going to be using in this video, especially the bulbs themselves. Uh, check down the description down below so you can order the, some of those and everything's on Amazon, which is really amazing, including these new taillight housings, which I'll be putting on in this video. But before we get started, here's what they look like now. All right, guys, so if you are just replacing the taillight bulbs, you can actually pop off these little covers right here. You can access the hardware to take out the housing. And then also on the inside, there's these little rectangle covers that pop out. And then you see this little white wing nut. That's how to remove the taillight on this side. Um, that's just to remove it. So what the new taillights you're gonna include is a bunch of wiring that's gonna need to go back behind here and also underneath the entire trim right here. So we're gonna have to pull all that off in order to actually uh, put in the new taillights. All right guys, so in order to remove this black trim right here, up on this inside, you can kind of see it up in there, there's gonna be a Torx 20 on both sides. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take those out right now. And then once you remove both of those screws, you're just going to come over to one of the sides and just pop it down. So there are a lot of strong tabs. You just have to kind of work it and uh, pop out of place. It feels like you're kind of breaking it, but you're not. You can see there's these little metal tabs that hook into those little slots right there. So it's just essentially getting all of those popped out. And just like that, it panels out. So next we're gonna do on each side you have, it's like a socket or a flathead. Uh, there's a little flathead slot in it. So whichever you have, which, whatever you prefer. Uh, there's two on that side and two on this side. And then also right here, there's the plug for the tail light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch the tab on either side. And it's going to pop it right out. And we're gonna go to the other side and pop that one out. Same exact process, tab on each side. You push in and you wiggle it and it pops right out. And then once you take off the two screws on either side and have both unplugged, you can go ahead and ignore how dirty the car is, but you're just gonna go ahead and grab the taillight itself and you're just gonna wiggle it right out of place. And there it is. If you guys are looking at how to replace the bulbs themselves, there's gonna be these little tabs right here. This one you're going to push kind of that way. And then there's this one you're just gonna pop out. So you're gonna take that one, move it out a little bit, take this tab, push it to the side. And this entire thing just pops right out and there are the bulbs. These are those fancy LED ones that are replaced. And once I do that, these lights are actually super bright and I, I absolutely love them, but these LED ones are gonna look really cool. If you're just looking to remove the taillight housing, like I mentioned before, you can pop off this little felt cover, which reveals a white wing nut, which is plastic and has a spring on it. You're just going to essentially turn that until you can get to the point where you can pop it out. And once you pop it out, you set it aside. Then you can wiggle the entire taillight right out of place. And then you're just gonna go ahead and unplug it right there. Same as the other one, there's just like a little tab on either side. So you're just gonna go ahead and push in on those and pop it out. And just like the other light, if you wanna know how to replace the bulbs themselves, there's a little tab right there and right there. So you're gonna pinch these two together and you're going to kind of push up on the entire uh, black plastic piece. So push those together and, and then it kind of hangs up, there you go. And that's how you replace the taillight bulbs themselves. It's super quick and easy. Once you replace them, you just stick them back in. But like I said before, that is the fancy LED bulb which I replaced, which also there's a link in the description down below. So definitely go pick up some of those if you're just replacing the bulbs. But for my case, I'm replacing the entire housing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this right back in there and it just pretty much clicks right into place. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to remove kind of like the carpet version instead of just taking off the little tab. 
So whenever you replace uh, the new lights, you can be able to have all the plugs inside of that. So there's this little handy dandy, um, kind of like interior removal kind of pry tool. A uh, bunch of these on Amazon are super cheap. There's a bunch of different kinds you can use for removing all kinds of panels. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna put it between these two plastic pieces. And it's just gonna pop right in there. And then pull that straight up and out. And now that little tab is removed. Super simple, super easy. Set it aside, reuse it whenever you put it back in. Get right behind that, pop it out. Just like that, it's removed. So then you're just gonna go ahead and grab the entire carpet, which to use the same tool, I'm just gonna push from right here to kind of get the carpet out. Once I have it out, now I can pull this completely back and you can see where everything is located. And you can even go ahead and unplug it from here if you want. So you can unscrew it and unplug it and then you can just pop that straight out. All right, so like I said before, these lights did come off of Amazon and the packaging is actually really nice. I've already popped it open and they look so amazing. They're very well packaged, but you can already tell that these are significantly different. And let me go ahead and pull the plastic off so I can show you guys like a side-by-side -side comparison of the new light versus the old light. So here's the difference right here. So you have the new light right there, which the cool little shape in there is the new running light. And then here's the old light. So that's a pretty bold difference of the before and after. And also these lenses are a little bit darker. There is a black option for a kind of like a black lens where it's kind of um, like all clear, all the backing is all black, but all the components are very easily visible. It looks really cool, but for me, I kind of wanted to make it look a little kind of like stock, but also kind of like high end stock. So I went with the dark red instead of the black, but I really like them. I think they look really good. I'm already getting them dirty here with my dirty hands, but uh, let's go ahead and put these in the car and I'll show you how to do it. All right guys, so the reason I suggested pulling the carpet back is because this does have this little box to it. Um, not 100% sure exactly what this does, but it might have to do with the sequential turn signal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off by sticking this through the hole where the plug is. It's gonna get it pushed back here out of the way, get all the wires kind of shoved all up in there. And I'm just gonna push this into place. All right, so now I've got the tail light put in place. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the little wing screw right back in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right guys, for the time being, I am just gonna leave this just kind of hanging down. You can stick it back up under here up against a flat surface. You can clean it with isopropyl alcohol just to make sure it has a really good bond. But then you just kind of stick it up out of the way up onto the side and then you'll be able to take the carpet and just gonna push it right back into place. But I'm not gonna do that until I make sure until I test everything, make sure it's all good to go. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the light from the hatch. We're gonna go ahead and pop that in. So I already have it right here. It's gonna pull the plastic off. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off that clear film. Ooh, that's looking good already. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this down. And just like before, we're just gonna take everything, put it through the hole first. And then we're going to set this into place. All right, also keep in mind that when you do go to put this into place, there's a like kind of plastic trim on the outside that has to hook on the outside of the metal body itself. So you're gonna hook that over top of that first. Then you're gonna line up the screw holes and then it sits right in place. And it's just that easy. So now we're just gonna go ahead and open this back up, hook up the two screws and get this thing plugged in. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in place. And then I will skip forward to after I get those in. And you will go ahead and plug it back in. Let's see here, got that clipped into place. So same thing as down below, I'm just gonna take this little box. It's gonna leave it here for now. I'm probably going to fix it maybe up into here where it's up out of the way. But also make sure you have this wire just kind of handy. It will plug into the one that goes on the other side, but we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so also included is these two little separate wires. They have different plugs on them. Uh, this is so you can take this plug right here. You're gonna run one of them across, which I'm just gonna run it alongside this one, zip tight to the existing cables. I'm gonna plug it in on one of these. The other one I'm gonna plug it in, because as you can see, there's two on this side. So I'm gonna take the other one, I'm gonna run it down behind this little trim, and then have it come out. And then back in here, 
you can see right there is the other little plug. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug all those together. They go from the, on the hatch, this light to that light, and then that light down to the left side. None of them connect to the right side. So the right side's already done, good to go. But I'm just gonna go ahead and hook these up, and I'll see you guys in a second. So now everything's hooked up. Before I start hooking these little boxes down, I'm just gonna go ahead, um, double check all the connections, close up, and then make sure that everything works. All right, so let's go ahead and skip to that right now. All right guys, so these taillights to me look absolutely amazing. I cannot get over how cool they look. Like this was such an amazing purchase. And if you guys wanna get some of these lights, definitely in the description down below, uh, click on one of those links. There's the different styles, different colors, like with the red or black. Definitely go down, get some for yourself because I think this looks incredible. And honestly, no regrets at all. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is open this back up. But if you guys like this video, definitely go down and hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, especially with my Porsche or even my Jetta, definitely hit that subscribe button. There's a lot more to come with the Jetta and a lot of cool other crazy awesome videos with my Porsche. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But as always guys, thank you for watching. All right, so I did want to show you guys kind of like what it looked like in the end. So I did get the cover back on. There's the little red cord sticking out right here and I did take this cover off of the little arm here. So when it's all said and done, all you're gonna see is just that little tiny red wire. But to take this off, there's these little tabs that just pop off all along the way and then it just slides straight off. So I got the red wire going down, I zip tied it along the other wires and it goes up in here. And I do have a lot of slack because I'll show you that in a second, but I did take the wires, run it right in here, which goes right along behind where everything else is located. But the reason I have so much slack hanging down right here is when I go to close the trunk, you'll notice that it pulls kind of tight right there and it comes out. So I do need to have, so you do need to have a little extra slack so that the wire doesn't get pinched or pulled or anything like that. There you go. So now all I'm gonna do is just take this little cover, slide it right back on and it's completely done. 